Just off Ukraine's iconic Independence Square lies Heroes of the Heavenly Hundred Street. It was here back in February 2014 when snipers of the Burkut Special Police Force picked off protesters one by one. At least 100 demonstrators lost their lives fighting for an independent, democratic Ukraine. Exactly four years after the beginning of the Euromaidan protests, Ukrainians from all over the country gathered on the heroes of the Heavenly Hundred Street to honour the victims. This blue and yellow scarf is almost four years old, according to Antonina Pipko. The participant of what has become known as the Revolution of Dignity was given the scarf for Christmas in 2013. The Revolution of Dignity began. That day, the Ukrainian people made it clear that they want to be equal to all other nations in the world. They want justice and rule of law. They want to be worthy citizens of their country. Olha is a resident of Kyiv. She was among the students who first took to the streets four years ago. She considers herself lucky to have escaped the riot police's first harsh crackdown on unarmed protesters. These were guys from our unit, including Sergei Nigoyan. He was in the third unit. Many people I knew, or just people whom I used to be around, keeping warm by the fire next to them. Now they're gone, unfortunately. Another former Maidan activist, Andrei Hus, arrived from the city of Lutsk. He lost the sight in one eye during the clashes with riot police. Andrei believes it was the Ukrainian flag that became his talisman. He says, this is from the Maidan. I carried the blue and yellow flag there, and I carry it to this day. It guarded me. The majority of those at the memorial service are not acquainted with each other. What unites them is the memory about those who gave their lives in the hope of a better future for Ukraine. <laughs>